Vanderbilt, 31, Florida, 24. I was wrong. On the show last week, I said, look, Vandy came out and got that win against Kentucky. No, it wasn't a fluke, but I think that Florida has found their stride. They are whipping people at the line of scrimmage, which they did against South Carolina, which, again, nothing in this sport makes logical sense right now. This is insane. The, the whole thing is bonkers. Because how can South Carolina go to Florida and get beat by 40, and then Florida turns around and goes and loses at Vanderbilt, while South Carolina turns around and goes home and beats the number five team in the country by 30? Like, it, nothing makes sense. Regard, we're going to talk about it. Because at Vanderbilt, while they did have some, uh, some things go their way, there were other things that went Florida's way, and Florida did not capitalize while Vanderbilt did. And that's, that's the difference in this ballgame. Uh, it was not a fluke. Anthony Richardson passed for 400 yards. But here's what ended up happening. Florida ran the ball 21 times for only 45 yards. That's the Vanderbilt defense. Like that, The Vanderbilt defense held them to 45 yards rushing. And that's with Anthony Richardson and a pretty good offensive line. And I was, I was shook. As my wife would say, I was shook. This made no sense. No sense. Ran about 21 times, 45 yards. Just unbelievable. Anthony Richardson, four carries, 25 yards. They, yes, they were able to get yards through the air, uh, but a lot of that, you know, was because they were down 14 to six at the half. Uh, so they had to throw the ball coming out. Regardless, uh, Vandy's offensive line was great. Ray Davis for Vanderbilt ran the ball 30 times for 122 yards. Mike Wright threw three touchdowns in this game. Vandy capitalized on the Florida turnovers, and Florida did not capitalize on Vandy. Bottom, bottom line. Uh, Scotty jumps in. Florida totally beat themselves. Stupid penalties and turnovers. Uh, you're not you're not incorrect there, but at the same time, Vanderbilt took advantage. Like this, it, so Florida had seven uh, penalties for 80 yards. Vandy had four for 35. Both teams had two turnovers. Like this was not crazy one sided. This was not a four turnover game while the other team didn't have any. Like there were chances. Florida, um, at Clark Lee, and what that staff has built is incredibly impressive. And Vanderbilt is now five and six, two straight SEC wins. They get Tennessee. In Nashville next week, we'll see what the fan base looks like next week. But this is something to maybe pay attention to, considering that Hendon Hooker might be out next. Week. Keep an eye on Vanderbilt because these guys are—they're having fun. They are tough. They have obviously been developed through the season. Uh, I am beyond impressed with the job that Clark Lee is doing. This—this this was awesome. This was great to see. Uh, Billy Napier now six and five in his first season at Florida. Uh, but he did a good job of like tampering expectation for his first season, and the same way that Clark Lee did. You know, he said we're building something here. I think he he famously said uh, like we're going to have the best football program in the country here. <laughs> uh, let's let's not get carried away. But regardless, uh, yeah, a, a, a good a lot of fun to pick it that one. A lot of fun for that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>